Mark Allen. He's on his way, we hope, to chat to us. Uh, but really, what was the difference for Mark Allen tonight, do you think, Jack? I just think he showed greater composure than Ricky. I think it's a massive night for Ricky Walden. I think, uh, obviously, a big night for Mark Allen as well. But I just think that little bit of extra experience counted this evening. He looked more comfortable at the table. He didn't give Ricky the chances that Ricky gave to him. And I think that ultimately, that little bit of extra experience and composure tonight has shown. How much value do you think this experience has been from Ricky's point of view going forwards, though, Ken? Well, hopefully, you know, he'll use it, uh, you know, as, as a landmark for him. I know he did win in Shanghai, but he's beaten some great players here in a huge tournament. And, you know, when the questions was asked, he, he answered them, and particularly in the, the penultimate, the, the penultimate frame. But he'd probably be disappointed because he did hold a 5-3 five, uh, five lead yeah. after the fourth session. But as John said, Mark Allen showed a lot of composure, a lot of grit, a lot of determination and uh, it's the same old cliche but he never throws in the towel and, and that's that's always a good I mean what's particularly meritorious is it's a 6-2 win tonight you yes. know he's 5-3 behind he's won the session 6-2 you know in a final session when it means more you know and there's a winning post involved and there's your first final it's a great performance. It is indeed. And now we're looking forward to a Mark Allen Judd mm. Trump final. It's the Battle of the Lefties <laughs> tomorrow, gentlemen. And when I look through the statistics, it's um, Trump who has won one of their three matches, and Mark Allen has had the benefit of two victories in mm. that contest. We'll ask him about that very shortly. But here he comes. Here he is. I've just right, said to well the lads, a well finalist done. at long last, Mark. Congratulations. It's about time, isn't it? Absolutely Thank you very much, brilliant. Yeah. Well done indeed. Thank you. And uh, just tell us what it means to you to have finally cracked it. Uh, it means everything, obviously. It's been a lot made of me losing semi-finals and it doesn't bother me whenever other people talk about it, but I know myself that I should be doing better and uh, it's nice to finally go over the line, but I've still got one more match to win. I didn't come here to be a losing finalist. Indeed, yeah. Were you beginning to wonder if you'd ever crack it? I think you have to always believe in yourself. No, I'm, I know I'm a good enough player, but when you lose like seven in a row, it's, it's hard to keep that mentality, but no, I've been working very hard on my game the last year or so and I think it's paying rewards. Do you think the experience you've had, obviously you lost in those semi-finals, but they've been a big stage to play on. Do you think that experience stood you in good stead tonight? Definitely, obviously. The more times you put yourself there, the, more, the better you can cope with it you know, later on. And I think I am getting better at coping. I still didn't play my best there, but I'm getting better. How much has uh, Terry been healthy, particularly going out in that session tonight, you know, after losing the, force, the, the last four frames today? Yeah, obviously, I, I missed a good chance to go 4-1 up. I missed on 50 or something, or part of the white on 50 mm. or something like that. And, Ricky played brilliant after that mm -hmm. to go 5-3. So I think Terry was just more or less saying, treat it as nil-nil and go out there and play like you started the match. No, because it started the match pretty solidly, yeah, nothing yeah. spectacular, but solid. And again tonight, I think I just had that mentality tonight going out that it wouldn't matter who I was playing. I was never losing that first mini session. I just had that in my head and I managed to win all four. Oh, lucky enough that Ricky missed a brown in the middle on mm -hmm. 60. Yeah. Mark, you've been asking for a best of 17 frames and in the end it was a pretty good job that it was best of 17 <laughs> today, yeah. wasn't it? Well, it didn't look good when I was 5-3 down. I thought mm -hmm. I was going to have to eat my words, but I think that proves my point, you know, that the better players normally come through in the longer distance. and It does give you a little bit of leeway, you no know, missing the old ball here and there, but you no, know, I still wouldn't like to be behind all the time and have to come back. Exactly. Um, you've had a lot to say this week, obviously. We've had quotes all over the papers. You've been the man who's been talked about all week. But, you know, we were just saying it seems to have galvanised you. This sort of being behind a cause seems to have strengthened you. How have you done it? I think I'm just mentally strong anyway. You no, know, when my back's against the wall, it's normally when I produce my best stuff. You seen there today when I was three one in front and seven five in front. I sort of took my foot off the gas a little bit, and uh, whenever Ricky came back, that's whenever I sort of found form. And I think it works the same way with the press that I've been getting. No, none of that bothers me. If anything, it does spur me on because, you no, know, as I say, I think I am entitled to my opinion. No, it might not have been well received by most people, but you no, know, it is an opinion at the end of the day, and I thought I was entitled to it. Well, you're certainly through to. Uh to give a platform for your views and, of course, for a platform for your play. And I know you've had your health problems this, this year, obviously, but you seem to have turned things around. How positive are you feeling within yourself these Very, days? Very. No, I haven't played. I'm probably like 50% of my game this week and I'm in the final. It speaks volumes for where my game's at as a whole. And I think that is because of how good I am off the table now. I know I've got... A... So, so why have you done that? If, well, you, if you're only 50% and you've got through, have you done it? Have you changed your game? I think or my safety's been very good all of, week. My right. safety's sort of getting me through. If you look at the stats, no, I'm not, very, not really scoring that well, to be honest. And No, I think I've only made one century. and I know it's not all about centuries, but no. uh, especially against the likes of Judd and the Fanny, you're going to need to compete with them in the scoring department. And uh, at, at the minute, no, I'm not quite there. But no, I think that proves 
where my game's at as a whole because no, I'm not playing my best and I'm still on the final of the UK Championship. And what are you looking forward to tomorrow? Brilliant. No, <laughs> I've been I've been waiting for a long time to just go out there and have the handshake at the start of the match yeah. in front of the trophy. You just know what it's Great all like. And, no, that's what you live for as a snooker player. Play them how many times? Three. Just three. Yeah, it's yeah, three. You're two right? one yeah. up. I'm two one up. Yeah, yeah I, I think he beat me in a PTC event. I that's beat right. him sort of in the Masters and. Uh, Barry and so I've, I've seemed to do better in the major events against Judd and as juniors coming up no, I like to put this towards him I think I played him about 10 or 11 times and never lost to him so uh, <laughs> hopefully get that wee dig in there <laughs> <laughs> not, not that he'll be thinking too much obviously Judd's riding the crest of a wave at the minute he's been brilliant for the sport and it'll be a tough match but I'm confident well, good luck. Best Mark, of luck. Thank you. all the best Cheers. very well played today hard lines of course to Ricky but we'll be seeing you tomorrow in the final with Judd Trump and of course you'll be able to see Mark and Judd going